Man, I love a Chicago shuffle. This is going to be fun. Let's trade along with this now for our practice session. So I'll start off, we'll play it four times, and then you'll play it four times, and we'll go back and forth a couple times like that. Maybe I'll call it out twice. It'll come a little quicker that way. I'll play it twice, and then you'll play it twice. All right, here we go. Two, three, four, one. 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 Three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. That's fun, right? Man, I love those kind of licks, those little organ trio licks like that. So hybrid picking is a nice approach for that. You could play that with just the straight pick if you wanted to. You know, if the band is cooking and getting loud, adding a pick like that will add some attack to the sound and maybe make it poke out a little bit more. That being said, I do like using the hybrid approach on that like we just did. Because again, we can control at least, in, you know, maybe a, a mid dynamic like mezzo forte or even up to forte kind of uh, dynamics, a little bit loud. Uh, we can control the volume of each string with a hybrid approach. At least for me, I can control that a little bit better. Also, it's a little more staccato for me. With the pick, it rings out a little more, and sometimes you want that sometimes you don't okay so let's add a little twist to this here we'll keep the first portion the same then let's add in uh, another little move here I like that so uh, essentially the same shapes that we were using before with the first part but instead of playing them simultaneously we'll play the notes individually and then when we come back down We'll use the pick only on that part. Hybrid, pick. First half, three, four, one. That's a nice way to combine using one hybrid note along with some pick stuff. Let's add this into our practice session. I'll play it four times, you'll play it four times, and then maybe we'll switch up and do two times each. Okay, let's try that with the track.
next time. All right, two times each. Man, that was fun. I enjoyed that too. Uh, so we had a, a nice little double stop move with a cool organ lick going on there. And then just one hybrid picked note. Just using that ring finger on the B string to pluck that note for the second half. So moves like that and going between things like that where you have multiple hybrid pick notes and then maybe just a phrase with one hybrid pick note is something that you can practice and it's really effective and sounds great. Let's add one more twist into this blues thing. How about this? We'll keep the same uh, barred approach that we had up front, but maybe something like this. I like that. Same move, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Yeah, so that's got, you know, a little slide in it. And then that piano approach that I mentioned before, we're plucking all the notes at the same time. Two, three, four, one. Slow it down, two, three, four, one. Two, three, Four, one. All right, you get the idea, okay? This is another twist we'll just add into this thing. Um, let's trade across it. Let's practice and see how it happens, all right? Four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Fourth time. Let's trade two each now. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. You're up. Yeah. So we had a few twists in there. And um, again, this is all stuff that you can use, uh, not only in just a traditional blues setting, but if you play jazz blues, you could use that quite a bit there. Actually, in soul music, R&B, funk, all different styles. Country, for sure. You'll use this hybrid approach and play double stops and things like that. So that's a real nice thing to get together there. Now we're going to move on and try some blues rock rhythm ideas using hybrid picking. 